Today's creature of the day is the Mutaburrasaurus. Its name means Mutabura lizard, after the town of Mutabura where it was discovered. It lived in what is now Australia during the early Cretaceous, 113 to 105 million years ago. It grew up to 9 meters or 30 feet long and weighed up to 3 metric tons. It was an iguanodontian known for its upward curving nasal muzzle. That's what it's referred to, but it kind of just looks like a balloon, to be honest. These nasal things, these nasal balloons, were probably used to make noise and communicate with others. The males probably had larger ones that were able to inflate as a form of display. It ate cycads and conifers and could stand on either two or four legs, like most iguanodontians. They also likely lived in herds. Back in Mutaburrasaurus's time, Australia was in the Antarctic Circle, which means the winters were colder. So this creature had to endure some pretty long winters with some pretty bad weather. Mutaburrasaurus was likely hunted by the Megaraptor and Australovenator. One of its main causes for extinction was the receding of the Aramanga Sea a sea that went very inland in Australia during the Cretaceous and affected the environment greatly. So the receding of this sea would definitely mess up the ecosystem a bit. It was described by Alan Bartholomew and Ralph Molnar in 1981. The only known species is Mutaburrasaurus langdana. In media, it has appeared in Australia four billion years in the making. Mutaburrasaurus, life in Gondwana, walking with dinosaurs, dinosaurs in the outback, dinosaur king, and the land before time three. In video games, it's appeared in prehistoric kingdom and Jurassic World evolution. Well, Mutaburrasaurus is a very interesting creature with some very interesting headgear. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment what other creatures I should talk about.